everyone. I wanted to do a quick video today to walk you through my gel peel and acid box. I have my derma roller and my sterilizer in there and some gloves. What I'm going to walk you through today is the four acids or peels that I use to do a deeper dive on the skin and then the three that are acids so I don't mix them but I do use them in my skincare routine at night as long as my face can handle it. If my face needs a break, I don't put too much on, but if it can handle it, I'll put these on with my tretinoin, my alpha hydroxy acid, and whatever else I wanna put on my face. So I'm gonna walk you through these three, and of course, they are from The Ordinary. And these are the ones, like I said, that I use as part of my nighttime routine with my other products. So the first one is the lactic acid, and this is a superficial peeling. So for me, I have rhino tough skin. It's semi-dry, but it's really tough. So this doesn't do anything deep, like I don't have flaking, I don't have peeling, and I can use it at night. Now, this is the one that I said in my ordinary video. I wasn't sure if I would reorder. I have reordered it, even though it stinks like dead celery. I do not like the smell, but it dissipates quickly, and I love the results, so I've kept using it. The next one is the resveratrol 3%, ferulic acid 3%. This is a very nice antioxidant. It's very superficial. Again, I can use it as part of my nighttime routine, and I really, really enjoy this. It has more of a moist feeling on my skin. Not quite oily, but it definitely leaves it more hydrated. And then the final superficial one is fairly new to me, and that's the mandelic acid. This is great for fine lines. I am really, really enjoying this. Again, this leaves my skin with a very moist feeling, but not oily. It's not too heavy. It's beautiful. I really enjoy this. And now for the big guns. I'm going to start with the mildest and work up to the harshest. So this is again from The Ordinary. I love this. I would recommend this for anyone. This is their AHA 30%, BHA 2%. They call it a 10 minute exfoliating facial. I can leave it on now 10 minutes. In the beginning, even with my Rhino Tough skin, mm -hmm. I had to work up to that. It isn't horrifically stingy, but you know it's working. And this is something you wash off at the end of the 10 minutes. It's red and it leaves your face glowing and smooth and just beautiful afterwards. I think they recommend you don't use it more than twice a week. It is absolutely beautiful. I love this one. This is the Glycolic 30% Gel Peel. I ordered this from Amazon. It is very strong, but you don't have to neutralize it because it's glycolic. So glycolic, you can handle a higher percentage and wash off with water. TCA, which I'll show you in a minute, is a much lower percentage and you do have to neutralize it with baking soda. So this one you can just wash off. You also don't have to worry about it. You know, if you want to put it on with your fingertips, it's totally fine. Um, unlike the TCA that I'll show you in a minute. This is beautiful for really lightening up your skin, especially age spots. It's not going to be overnight miracle. The ones that I'm showing you next are the big guns. This one is the Perfect Image Revita Boost Peel Pads. There's 30 of them in here. They recommend you use them every week to two weeks. So I use it about a week and a half. 30 of them will last me a year, I anticipate. These are pads that you rub over your face. You do have to wear the gloves with this. This is a mixture of glycolic, TCA, mandolic acid, malic acid, and citric acid. So some of the other ones that I have separate, this is very convenient having it in the pad formula. It's 30 pads. If you do it every two weeks, even a little more than that, this should last you a year. I love these. I do wear gloves with them because they have TCA in them, which is very potent and it burns on my skin. Now, I have Rhino Tough skin. It doesn't really peel. I get little flakes a couple of days, maybe three, four days after I use it, but it leaves your skin nice and tight and soft. If you have more sensitive skin than I do, you may get peeling with this. So be aware that plan your schedule accordingly if you need to hibernate. But for me, I'm okay using these even when I'm working but they definitely, you can feel it. And I layer them, I do two to three layers and 
I can definitely notice my skin. It's beautiful and it's tight. This is the last one and this is a serious one. This is a TCA peel. It's 20%. Honestly, I would not buy 20% again because it is so strong. I dilute it down with water and I don't have a video on it. Let me know if you want one. You have to use gloves and you have to neutralize it with baking soda afterwards. I'll put a link to this one as well as one that I would purchase instead that's lower. I mix this with water and I put it on my age spots that I'm trying to get rid of on my hands and my legs and it takes layers off. Trust me. This is not one that I would use on my face. It is so strong. But those are the peels that I love. I don't do them every night. You have to listen to your skin, but they are beautiful for freshening up your skin, causing the cell turnover, and keeping your skin tight and fresh. So if you have a peel you'd recommend that you do at home, please list it below. I love sharing. And thank you so much for spending some of your time with me. Sorry for the wind and the noise. I hope you had a great day, and we'll talk to you next time.